Hey everyone, this is Joe Martin. I am currently the CMO of a company called Zeit, and I've been a marketing executive for over 15 years, mostly in the tech industry, uh, helping build teams and lead large teams. Uh, worked at Adobe for a very long time, and been writing a book about managing sideways, uh, is the name of the title, and I'll talk about that, that a little bit more later on. But Today I wanted to kind of get into one of the fatal flaws of leadership, probably the number one fatal flaw of leadership. It's the failure to truly lead. Often leaders fall into the trap of thinking they knew something better or that there's always a better person for the job. However, effective leadership is really about harnessing the potential of the team and supporting them to make sure they achieve their best uh, effort. Um, really some, some key points to consider are, first of all, recognizing effort. Understanding their team is, is really doing their best uh, and really having faith that people are work, trying to work hard and really wanting to have that accomplishment <clears throat> with the resources that they have. Showing appreciation for their efforts, building on them, and helping them to advance on those things. Number two is really providing training. If someone doesn't know how to do something, take the time to train them. Um, investing in their development is investing in your team's success. You can use a great tool uh, like Zite that I have here where I'm using it to record my screen right now. You can use it to um, send short links to people on training and for onboarding to make sure they're successful. The next one is improving process. So if goals are being missed despite hard work, look into their processes. Sometimes small tweaks can make a big difference. Uh, you may not be providing the right resources to help people accomplish their goals. Set clear expectations. Uh, ensure your teams knows what's expected of them. Um, do weekly follow-ups and make sure that they're on the same page with you and give them feedback um, so it doesn't blow up in the end and they under don't understand why um, something wasn't working out. Support and encourage them. Be there for your team, encourage them, offer support, create an environment where they feel empowered to succeed. Leadership's not really about doing everything yourself but enabling your team to shine. So I always like to try and tell myself to get out of people's way and make sure that they have the tools they need to be successful. As a leader, the really buck, the buck stops with you. So if something isn't working, it's up to you to provide that clear communication about that and your ideas and how to fix it. I've seen too many leaders just assume someone is incapable when it's actually it maybe on their poor leadership. Uh, giving that feedback along the way so there's not just kind of feelings boiling inside and they are really unaware of you being unhappy with them. Uh, we have amazing leaders here at Zeit, and I love kind of the opportunity to have to lead and mentor teams um, and continue to build on my own skills as well from lots of great leaders and also bad leaders I've had. Thanks.